47 times. That's how many times police were called to this home over the last five years. A number that shows that this household was no stranger to law enforcement prior to Thursday. A calm Tuckahoe neighborhood turned chaotic since Thursday afternoon. Not the normal day in Tuckahoe. It was scary to see all that. State and federal agencies, including an explosive disposal team, surrounded this home at 4200 Durwood Crescent. They found credible threats to their safety and others. It forced nearly 30 residents to temporarily evacuate. They were starting to say maybe these people should get out. I think these people should get out. Court documents show this is 52 year old Michael Hardy's address. Police went to his home to serve a warrant Thursday. This is after they arrested him Wednesday for allegedly strangling 21 year old Sydney Crow at her home five minutes down the road. Records show the two had been approved to be married weeks ago, but had not gone through with it yet. This home was no stranger to police. Records show police were called out there 47 times over the last five years. 20 of the times resulted in a police report being filed. A breakdown of the calls shows a quarter of them were for missing person. Eight were for general service, four for juvenile problems, and three incidents were for both domestic incidents or a loud party or noises. The incident Thursday is still under investigation. We have removed several credible items uh, related to EOD related matters. Do want the community to uh, know this was uh, this was a credible uh, incident and where several packages have been removed. As for this Tuckahoe neighborhood, it's starting to get back to normal. Oh, I think it's going to be really peaceful and nice. We feel uh, that the community is safe. Our first responders are safe. Police say charges have not yet been brought in this incident. Both Hardy and Crow are being held in jail without bond from charges from Wednesday. Working for you in Henrico, I'm Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News.